This year, we've seen a plethora of GPU releases, from the 7800 XT, the 7700 XT, the 4060, 4060 Ti, 4070, and 7600. Today, we will be comparing some, not all, of the GPU releases this year, while finding the best GPUs for 2024. First off, we're going to be comparing the pricing of the GPUs that we'll be comparing today. Now the saying, there's no such thing as a bad GPU, but a badly priced GPU is mostly true, but it doesn't depict the full story as it doesn't include things like efficiency, power consumption, and feature set. At the same time, some people's definition of a good buy is going to vary from person to person. For example, if a person cares about ray tracing, they'll look for the best value in ray tracing. If people only care about raster performance, then you look for the best value in rasterization. Even performance in creative apps can influence purchasing decisions. Which is why we'll be giving the best in each section, talking about respective value in ray tracing, rasterization, and creative apps. Also discussing efficiency and power consumption. And lastly, we'll look at the feature set performance in AI upscaling. These are the GPUs that we'll be comparing today. In our 210 to $300 range, we have the RK750, 6650 XT, 7600, 3060, and 4060. Then our 330 to $440 GPUs include the 6750 XT, the 4060 Ti, 8GB, the 3060 Ti, and the 7700 XT. Finally, in our $540 to $550 GPUs include the 7800 XT and the 4070. Now, starting at 1080p rasterization, the 7800 XT holds the top spot 100% of the time, beating the 4070 by a pretty significant margin. Simultaneously, the 7700 XT holds major wins over the 4060 Ti, while the 6750 XT often outperforms the 4060 Ti as well. However, the RX 7600 is often overshadowed by the 4060, and even the 3060 in some cases, due to the lack of specs under the hood being eerily similar to its predecessor, the 6650 XT. Looking at averages, the 7800 XT shows its strong suit, with a 17% advantage over the 4070. However, the 4070 edges past the 7700 XT by 8%. The 7700 XT does show a strong lead over the 4060 Ti by 12%. And while the 7600 does outperform the 4060 slightly by less than a percent, it's hardly anything to write home about, mostly coming from its edge in optimization in Red Dead 2. The 4060 backs it up with feature set and performance in other areas, as we'll see though. The 6750 XT is also neck and neck with the 4060 Ti, which is a testament to its still great performance for the price, costing less than the 4060 Ti. Now in rasterization of 1440p, the 7800 XT is still taking the top spot, although it leads a little subdued versus 1080p, as we've become almost entirely GPU limited. This time though, even the 7700 XT shows an even stronger lead over the 4070 in some cases, but in others, it falls short, still providing a good lead over the 4060 Ti. But more often than 1080p, the 6750 XT continues to shine ahead of the RTX 4060 Ti. The 7600's struggle to get into the spotlight continues, as this time, more often than not, it loses to its last gen competitors. I would say that the 4060 takes a cake here, but considering the price, the value charts might tell a different story. Looking at 1440p averages, the 7800 XT hold a 19% advantage over the 4070, with the 4070 holding a 10% lead over the 7700 XT. With that said and done, the 7700 XT holds a 13% advantage over the 4060 Ti. The 7600 though is dancing at the low end of the chart, while the 4060 takes the crown, edging it by 3%. This time though, the 6750 XT creeps ahead of the 4060 Ti by 2%. Overall, looking at the value charts now, our best $210 to $300 GPU is the RX 7600, as even though it didn't outperform its competitors all the time, due to its price, it was able to outclass the other GPUs. On the other hand, our best $330 to $440 GPU is the AMD RX 6750 XT. Even though it's a last gen card, it's still able to outpace some of the other cards like the 4060 Ti, again due to its judicious pricing. 
The 7800 XT ends up being our best $540 to $550 GPU. It's able to outclass the more expensive RTS 4070 in rasterization and is the undisputed king in value. That being said though, looking at efficiency, the RTS 4060 is 18% more efficient than the 7600, which is something to keep in mind. The 4060 Ti is 27% more efficient than the 7700 XT, while the RTS 4070 is also 23% more efficient than the 7800 XT. All the while the 4060 Ti is 37% more efficient than the 6750 XT. While performance per dollar can be an easy indicator of value, efficiency is also an important point to touch on, as the RTX 40 series shows a particular strong suit in this area, for those who are particularly power and temperature conscious, as these will draw less power while producing less heat while still providing a great gaming experience, eclipsing their competitors where it counts. Now in ray tracing performance, the tables turn, literally, as the RTX 4070 takes a major lead over the 7800 XT, with even the 4060 Ti beating it sometimes. Interestingly, the RK750 shows impressive performance, standing atop some of its more expensive competitors. The 7700 XT also struggles even against the 3060 Ti sometimes, while the RX7600 disappointingly bottoms the chart half the time, with the 4060 taking a massive lead. The 6750 XT also starts to massively fall short of the 4060 Ti, bringing to light its own ray tracing pitfalls. Overall, the RTX 4070 manages a 12% lead over the 7800 XT, while the 4060 Ti slightly outpaces the 7700 XT by 2% and the 4060 manages an impressive 48% lead over the 7600. The 6750 XT is eclipsed by the 4060 Ti by 25%, while the RK750 stands akin to the more expensive 7600. As we become ever more so GPU limited at 1440p, the 4070 has a similar lead over the 7800 XT, and the same can be said about the 4060 Ti and 4060. More often than not, Nvidia still holds a dominant position here, but it will be interesting to see the value comparisons as we'll see later. The 6750 XT continues to fall short of the 4060 Ti, while the RK750 stands tall against its more expensive competitors. Looking at the average FPS for 1440p with ray tracing, the 4070 takes a 9% lead over the 7800 XT, with the RX 7700 XT edging past the 4060 Ti by 9%, the RTX 4060 taking a 44% lead over the 7600. This time though, the 4060 Ti only showed a 9% increase over the 6750 XT, while the RK750 stands taller than the 7600 by 8%. That being said, let's get into the value comparisons. Overall, for performance per dollar, our best $210 to $300 GPU is the Intel RK750. Even though its wins were pretty small, its judicious pricing, much like the RX 7600 in rasterization, means it's an excellent value for this price range. The 4060 Ti lands our best $330 to $440 GPU, as it's easily able to outclass the 7700 XT and 6750 XT, and even get quite close to the 7800 XT, and even outpaces the 7800 XT sometimes. Our best $540 to $550 GPU is the RTX 4070. It's clearly the undisputed king in ray tracing, and best the 7800 XT more often than not. Now for efficiency, the RTX 4070 shows a 63% edge in efficiency of the 7800 XT while ray tracing, while the 4060 Ti shows a 41% edge over the 7700 XT and a massive 78% advantage over the 6750 XT. The 4060 shows an impressive 67% increase in efficiency over the 7600, while the RK750 falls to the bottom of the chart, being the least efficient despite being the best value for ray tracing. What this shows us is while the RK750 is the best value for ray tracing, it might be better to consider other options if you want to save on your monthly power bill. Now let's get into some upscaling performance at 1440p, starting with Forza Horizon 5, with the RTX 4070 shows an 18% lead in performance over the 7800 XT, all thanks to DLSS frame generation besting fluid motion frames. The 4060 Ti also additionally shows a 5% advantage over the 7700 XT, while the 4060 shows a massive leap of 79%. Although, do keep in mind that we didn't use HyperRX on the 7600, which includes fluid motion frames in the driver-based RSR or Radeon Super Resolution, which could explain that gap. While in Cyberpunk 2077, while ray tracing on 1440p, the 4070 takes an astonishing lead 
of 97% over the 7800 XT, while the 4060 Ti leaps ahead of the 7700 XT by 79%. And finally, the 4060 leads the RX 7600 by 186%. So that means it will come at no surprise that Nvidia is a clear winner for value, and our best 210 to 300 dollar GPU is the RTX 4060. Well, the best $330 to $440 GPU is surprisingly the 3060 Ti, even though it doesn't support frame generation. DLSS 2 is still definitely kicking. Our best $540 to $550 GPU is definitely got to be the 4070. Now looking at value for ray tracing, it doesn't really change all that much. Our best $200 to $300 GPU is the RTX 4060. While our best $330 to $440 GPU is the RTX 4060. And finally, our best $540 to $550 GPU is the RTX 4070, which isn't a surprise to many. Now let's get into some benchmarks. While just as nuanced as gaming performance, they are just as important, which is why we chose to include them here. In Blender, the video shows a clear win in terms of value with the 4070, 4060 Ti and the 4060 showing clear advantages over the other AMD cards, all thanks to Blender's excellent CUDA integration. In SpecView Perf, the tables turn as the AMD cards become the better value of the Nvidia ones, providing more performance and most importantly value when it comes to using these applications. Our chart toppers are the 7800 XT, 7700 XT and the previous generation 6750 XT, which edges out the 4070. However though, the RX 7600 is feeling a little lost in the mix however, as this previous generation counterpart, the 6650 XT, takes the helm. In creative apps, starting with Premiere Pro using Puget Bench, the same can't be said, as it's a little more complicated than tides flipping. Rather, the 4060 and 4060 Ti show particular weak spots in terms of performance, and thus value. And the 7800 XT comes close to the 4070, making the 7800 XT's value proposition look great in terms of video editing performance. But we'll have to wait and see if that holds up. Last Gen also takes a stab at AMD, as the 6750 XT bests the 7700 XT. And lastly, the RK750 is surprisingly showing strong competition in. In After Effects, the story remains mostly the same, but the RK750 loses esteem, and the RTX 3060 shows a strong value proposition against the newer cards or the 7800 XT and 4070 are still neck and neck. Now let's take a closer look at value and find the best GPUs for every section, including 3D animation, 3D rendering, and content creation. Starting with content creation, which includes Premiere Pro and After Effects, our best $210 to $300 GPU is the RK750. Its stellar performance in Premiere Pro means it's easily able to outclass the other GPUs. However, its performance in After Effects does drop off, probably due to its lack of 3D rendering performance. Our best $330 to $440 GPU is the RX 6750 XT, which is surprising given that AMD doesn't have a great history with encoding performance. But I think where most of the performance came from is this excellent 3D rendering performance, which helps in Premiere and After Effects. And our best $540 to $550 GPU is the RTX 4070. Even though the 7800 XT and 4070 came neck and neck, the 4070 still came out on top, as there's only a $10 difference, separating the 7800 XT to the 4070. Now Blender is a mostly Nvidia dominated affair, due to the excellent CUDA integration that we talked about. So it's no surprise that the 4060 takes the crown for the best $210 to $300 GPU while the 4060 Ti takes the spot for the best $330 to $440 GPU. And lastly, the RTX 4070 takes the spot for the best $540 to $550 GPU. It's really no competition for Nvidia here. However, for 3D rendering performance using SpecView Perf, the tables turn, literally, as now it's an AMD dominated affair. And interestingly, we see the 6650 XT come out on top as the best $210 to $300 GPU, eclipsing its newer counterpart, which is most likely down to optimization. Our best $330 to $440 GPU goes to the 6750 XT. Our best $540 to $550 GPU goes to the RX 7800 XT. In this comprehensive GPU roundup for 2024, we've delved into various GPUs across different price ranges and performance categories to identify the best options available. To recap the best GPUs in each category, first off is rasterization performance. Our best $210 to $300 GPU is the RX 7600, while our best $330 to $440 GPU 
is the 6750 XT. Then we have the 7800 XT, which is our best 540 to 550 dollar GPU. In ray tracing performance, our best 210 to 300 dollar GPU is the RK750, while our best 330 to 440 dollar GPU is the 4060 Ti. Then the 4070 is our best 540 dollar to 550 dollar GPU in ray tracing performance. As the GPU market continues to evolve, user preferences and the demands of diverse applications drive the definition of an optimal GPU. The ideal choice heavily relies on individual needs, whether it's gaming performance, efficiency, creative applications, or balance of these factors. This roundup aims to assist users in making informed decisions based on their specific needs. Anyways guys, that's all for today. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Also make sure to check out this video on the screen right now.